Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, listen and let meditation happen. Satna 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 Satnam Radasu Ami Radasu So Radha so Is what 
he said in a sentence of this uh, song I sang before by Baba Samanat. And it tells us of how things go once we are on the path, once we develop this uh, communication, this uh, coming in touch with this divine within us. Or will be enough for us, we will need much of anything else, just what's needed for life. It means that we won't uh, find our joy coming from uh, this object, the other object, this sensual pleasure, the other sensual pleasure. The main source of our joy in life, the main source of our pleasure, inner pleasure, if we believe by coming into communion with this divine light, divine power. If we bring us all the joy, all the happiness, all the fulfillment, once we begin perceiving it, we bring such a joy. Because when we are tuned in with this power, then uh, our outlook of reality, perception of reality, and also the outlook of life in general will be so different. It will be like everything acquires more charm, more beauty, colors will be more bright. This world itself will become kind of a heaven. People will go within and experience uh, a journey into their inner realms. They will say that is so much more beautiful than here. Colors are much more sharp. Everything is so much more intense over there. But once we have this experience of this capacity, this grace of tuning in with the divine light, then even this world, even the colors of this world will be more bright, will be more beautiful, everything will be sparkling clear and, and beautiful. So, this is what we should aim to, this is what we should pray for, this is what we should be wanting. That we come into a state in which we feel so blissful that we don't need anything. We don't really need to run madly after this and the other thing that gives us pleasure. We find it within ourselves and we are just at peace. For realizing this, we have to do our part. We have to involve ourselves with the path, do our spiritual practice every day. It's like a medicine. If you take it, you have to take it every day because, because in the body needs this effect from time to time. Otherwise, it goes back to its previous condition. Same is with spiritual practice. It's a kind of medicine for our soul, for our consciousness. And we have to take it at given intervals, otherwise our consciousness keeps going back and back into the dark state. And from time to time it's very good if you are sick to go into a clinic and get an intense treatment. So, retreat is a kind of a clinic in which we get an intense treatment. We get medicines every few hours and we improve our condition. 
So after the retreat, we are quite fine, we are quite okay, and uh, we can go on for some time in good health. So, it's such good luck to attend these retreats. It's such a blessing to be on a retreat. And just get involved with what is done and forget everything else. But it's our duty to be fully here. I not begin wandering, talking, in, uh, thinking about things which have nothing to do with what we are doing. Just forget about all those. We have a lot already in uh, ordinary life, day-to-day -day life. Let's dedicate these days to his sweet remembrance, to try to tune in with him and possibly come into communion with him and become one with him as much as we can or as much as we are given to. So let's try to withdraw now from all outside. Let's try to forget our body, the place where we are everything we just want to be aware of looking steadily in the center and we want to do it peacefully in a relaxed mode and also in a joyful mode and also with love Sanji used to say, don't do it, feeling it as a burden. It's not a burden. Do it with love. Because only if it's done with love, it works. Otherwise, it won't work. We are trying to come in touch, come close to the Supreme Being. We should be shaken at the thought of it. When we sit in meditation, we are sitting at the door. This third eye is the door of the Supreme Being. My God, it's quite something. So we should be very much alert. We should be very much aware, conscious and present. I keep looking for him, keep seeking him in the center. <coughs> By being absolutely devoted to him. And this we do it if we don't allow any thoughts to come in. We are well focused and with all of our attention we keep looking in the center, trying not to think of anything. The only thing we want to think about is his holy names. Just keep rolling them into your head. So looking for him, calling on him, that's all we wanted. Then the inner door will open, the darkness will go and the light will come. And we might be blessed with visions or perceptions of his reality. So let's keep meditating like this by praying to the Supreme Being Please shower your grace upon us and bless us.